Hello everybody. I'm just making another update video on my uh, low cost or zero cost Thunderfire cannon. I use that with a grain of salt of course because it's all stuff I already have so it's already been paid for. Um, so as you say I guess it's zero additional cost uh, Thunderfire cannon. And the a whole can build is finally complete. I spent a lot of hours on this thing the last few days and I'm very happy with how it came out. Let's just take a quick spin around here. First are the tracks. Uh, this was a lot, a lot of work. So these are the road wheels down here, of course. You got just sliders up here for the top. Um, got these little angle iron, angle pieces supposed to be like the springs on the road wheels. And of course the track just slides along the top. Those wheels don't do anything, don't really hold any load. And the two big drive wheels. Um, here are the rear struts. Again, they're made out of the pieces from the, uh, uh, the Valkyrie kit. Same with this little control panel here. That's actually the the nose heavy bolter looking thing from the uh, Valkyrie kit with a screen on it. Um, of course tracks are exactly the same and I said those were a lot of hours put into getting those completed. Uh, I got the the armor shield was uh, very precisely made. Not quite exactly what I'm used to because I'm used to orc stuff which doesn't require any precision. But this was very carefully cut and shaped. All the cuts were carefully measured and uh, yeah, a lot more work than what I'm usually what I'm used to. Got all the rivet work done. This is magnetized somewhat, mainly just for ease of painting and storage. So this part comes off. No, I'm not drilling the barrels because they're just too thin. These things are pieces of plastic rod, which I couldn't really cut very precisely. So all I did after I got done cutting them, gluing them, I just sat there and wet sanded them until I got them to the thickness I wanted, which took a little while. Uh, this part here is magnetized on. Some nice rivets on here. I think it looks really good. The rivet work on there. And here's the base. Some more rivet work on the inside of the uh, tracks. So yeah, that's it. I guess there's not much else to say. I'll spin it around a few times here. And here's the company Tech Marine, which is currently uh, just held together with some blue tack because he's, I already took them apart to get ready to prime it. So here is my scratch built Thunderfire Cannon and Tick Marine. I'm extremely happy with how, came, how it came out even, uh, even though I did put a whole lot of time into it. I mean a lot of time into this project and I still have to paint it. So, <laughs> Fortunately the painting isn't going to be that difficult because most of this is going to be metal anyway. But yeah, that's it. This is my scratch-built Thunderfire Cannon and Tech Marine. Out of stuff I already had lying around, so it didn't cost me any extra. I'll put up some pictures here after the video, and thanks for watching.